I'm growing celery for the first time in my life. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So I just wanted to do a quick update on the seedlings that I planted. And so there they are right there behind me. Let me show you real quick. And then I gotta go out and put my um, sweet potatoes that I pulled up last year as a harvest, but they were so small. I was gonna keep them and cook them, but then I forgot about them in the bucket in the garage. I went out to get them and y'all, they have started sprouting. So I'm just gonna plant them back into the container that they were in and see what I yield later on in the year. y'all i have them set over here on the side on the back wall in my kitchen so i have my dining room table right here and y'all excuse that stuff in there i've just bought some new um baking utensils but okay so over here this is my light that i have bought from lowe's for uh ten dollars and all I did was take a pipe that was in the garage and I cut the top part of this jug off and I filled this jug up and then I clamped this on. It's a clamp light and you can adjust it. You can move it up. Well, if I can do it with one hand. So you can move it up or down however you want to do it and adjust it. You want your, um, you do want the light at least two inches above. And then I'll just bring this forward like this. And then that's the setup for that. As they um, grow taller, then I will raise this up. I will place this on something and then raise the light up so that they don't become really leggy. Like right now, they are looking like they're trying to be leggy. And I don't know why I planted these. Honestly, it was just to see if the ring light worked because I never used a ring light before, y'all. So now I know how to do it, but I'm gonna try to nurture these until I can put them out. I'm gonna transplant these into something different. These right here are cantaloupe. Um, they just came out, I planted them I dropped the seeds on the 7th of, of this month and they just started coming out. And then over here is the watermelon. I think this is watermelon over here too. So y'all, yeah, I'm just gonna put these into containers and see what they do over here. These are some marigolds that I dropped in here because the cucumber that was in here died. So I just sprinkled some marigold seeds in here and they just sprouted um, the other day. And like I said, these are, let me move this light. These are the cucumber. So when they first came up, they only had the two leaves here. Now the real leaf right here just came out um, two days ago. And when I came down here today, they were even bigger. So I just um, watered them. I have, you know, holes in the bottom of the cup, water in this pan right here. I got these pans from Dollar General for a dollar. So for one dollar. And then back here, I have some more marigold seeds. So I just transplanted these into here. They were inside of these uh, containers right here, but now they're over here and they get a little bigger, I'm gonna put them in something bigger. I'm just gonna see what, what they do. So over here, we have tomatoes, and I dropped a few seeds into each, again, these little contain these little egg crates, I did that in here. And I transplanted these the same time I did these into the red cups. Same thing here, pan, water, hole in the cup, and Whichever one looks the strongest when it's time to go out is the one that I will be planting out. And if these get any bigger, I will, of course, put them into other containers. And you can get 
you can get containers from the Dollar Tree for $1, or you can go to Home Depot, and if they have any out in their lawn and garden area, you can get those for free. So, over here, this was an experiment. I just planted some popcorn kernels, the popcorn kernel, because this one didn't take, so I'll show you. This is the popcorn kernel right here. Look at that little sprout trying to come out, but we're going to let it be what it be. So I did that in here. I didn't think they were going to come up. I did these on the 7th as well. I see one coming up right here now, but these came up within a few days, maybe by the 10th, no, the 11th or 12th, they came up and I planted them on the 7th. Popcorn kernels, y'all. So if you can't find your um, corn, if they ever run out of the seeds in the stores, get you a bag of popcorn kernels. I, I think I got the over red and bockers and plant your um, corn that way and you'll have your corn. So over here, I have some sweet peppers. I used the ones that I harvested, they didn't come up. So I used the pack that I got from Lowe's and then they just came up. I did these on the 14th of January and today I think is the 20, whatever, it's Sunday. It's probably the 25th. So, 10 days, now I have sweet peppers coming up right here. And when they get a little bigger, a little stronger, I will put those into bigger containers. Over here, I have oregano that I planted on the 7th. They just came up maybe three days ago. So, it took these a little longer, and it may be because they're not under direct sunlight or the heat lamp. I, I have my grow light right here, but I just have it in a regular lamp sitting up. So they're getting light. And then over here, I think this is, yeah, cucumber again, because I was just trying to get rid of that pack. Yeah, these are cucumbers. So these also will be transplanted one day this week into red cups because they are looking really good and i'm starting to see new um the actual leaf come out that third leaf come out now i did these strawberries mind you they weren't at all under the light like the other ones and you can actually see the little red seed right there that didn't even get into the soil and so i did these on january 5th and they've done absolutely nothing until today, if you can see that. That might have been there yesterday, but I couldn't see it. So that's the update on my inside um, plants that I have. Now I'm going to go outside and get these sweet potatoes into the ground. This is what I grew them in last year. So, hey, if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. That's all I can say. So, I'm gonna put a little more in until I get about right here. Just gonna break up the soil up underneath it. So I'm gonna wet this and then let me show you. These are what I harvested last year. And look y'all, they started um, growing again. So guess what I'm about to do? 
I'm about to put them in the soil. Since they want to do without the soil, I'm going to put them in. It doesn't really matter how you put them in. They will find their way up. Just don't bury them down real deep. But I'm only going to put the good looking ones in there. Like this right here. Like this is two. So this would be two that you can take off. I'm not doing that. I'm just going to bury it. I'm not doing all that work like I did last year. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to work hard, but I'm also going to work smarter, not harder. And I think I was doing a lot of overthinking it because it was my first time. But hey, I saw that I could do this. I'm good. I want this to be a long video, so. Unless I break this up, they just going in. Y'all, just that simple. Look at that. I don't know what that is. I got old root. Look, I just pulled an old root up. It's still good. Look at that. It's going to get beard right on back in there. Yes, it is, because it was starting to do something for me. That's good enough for me. How about y'all? Are y'all planting some potatoes, some sweet potatoes? I'm just going to take this. Now, what I could do, I'm going to show you one. I could take, let me lay it here so you can see. I could take this piece here off, just brace off, just that simple, like that. And then I could just put it in here and let it do what it do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put it down in here. And I'm going to give it space because that's one thing I didn't do that I'm going to correct now. I don't want it too deep in there. Just enough. I'm going to have to give them space. I had them too close together. So you want them to feel like they can grow. And if they feel like they can't grow, they don't have enough space then this is what you're going to get. You're going to get these little small ones that's going to be like, well, I can't do no more, so I'm done. You know, you can only do what you can do. And if that piece break off, guess what? It just break off. It's going to root again. My little cushion seat, I use it as a kneeling pad, but I took it in. little tiny one. Why do I keep picking up something different? That's what I get for wearing it here. Right y'all. Right y'all y'all. We just gonna stick them in there. And I'm pretty sure I'll be seeing something from it really soon. Eventually. Eventually. Get under there. They're just going to take a little dirt nap, that's all. And I have to remember to water the things. That's my other problem. I'll be forgetting, y'all. Because I got them sitting over here on the side of the house. I don't really come over here. So, I might move them. Because I, I think I'm going to put my rabbits on the other side of the house. So I'll probably move these over there with the rabbits. That way I don't forget them while I'm out doing the rabbits. I can make sure they're taken care of. That's all we're doing. And I still might be too doggone close up in here. But, yep, there's one right there. Girl, what you doing? See? Gotta remember where you're putting them. Jesus. By the time I edit this video, it won't be as long as it is that I'm looking at right now. That's all I'm gonna do. They gonna be, they gonna um, get some water ran in that bucket, and I'm gonna make me some sweet potato tea, sweet potato, and um, banana. Don't that sound good? We're gonna make some drinks for the. Uh, 
for the plant. Okay, so over here in this one, I had my white potatoes. So I'm going to add some soil to this. Let me clean this out. I said I was going to make this a short video, y'all. But it's going to be a while before I do another garden video. So I might as well get it all in now, right? I'm only going to do updates on the garden. Okay, so I want a lot in there. That's the stuff I got for a dollar. Okay. Yeah, I'm out here with my bedroom pants on. And, um, I got to get any these old roots up out of here. What is this? How did I get in there? Anyway. I had my white potatoes in here and see i have some um idaho potatoes on my table and i know they ain't good enough for us to eat and they small i don't know but i don't want no small potatoes so all right you're wasting the good stuff girl anyway so I'm gonna put them in here. And I probably won't record that because it wasn't in my plans. So, and they not ready to come in here yet. And notice I left uh, enough room in here to fertilize it throughout the season, as well as the sweet potatoes over there. Yeah, my hands are dirty it's crap y'all look at this here um who want to help me get a manicure anyway <laughs> just playing so over here in this one um i put some collard seeds down on the fourth they just starting to sprout up right up in here here I just sprinkle them around y'all so the leaves are covering up i use leaves as um a helper to my garden and i hate these squirrels out here i just want to pop one of them in the head but i i didn't get that bb gun i should have got it anyway i'm sorry if that seems oh, i'm sorry y'all anyway sorry not sorry so over here was some collars that i had threw away Cause they wasn't doing good them worms had not ate them up and they look like they done found them again anyway i threw these out in the yard y'all i did a video on that so over here i got the um y'all this is just some pear i should have put this pear stuff in the water but i wasn't thinking i just threw them out here y'all anyway these are my cabbage it's forming a head down up in there. These were um, no good. So I cut them off and I kept the base, you know, with the roots and stuff. And I planted it and this is what's happening with that. I don't have anything in this bed over here. Um, over here, I planted some spinach on the 4th. And I'm starting to see little sprouts germinating throughout. Um, I haven't put anything in this one. My grandson wanted to do something. So today I let him put uh, some flowers in here. So he he's only three. So he sprinkled the flowers in here and watered it. So hopefully that'll put out. So he'll be happy to see that when he comes back. Then I was in Lowe's and I saw they had the grape um, bushes and what else? Blueberry, raspberry, and stuff like that. So I just grabbed a blueberry because I said I always wanted one. I got home and realized I don't have crap to put in. I almost cut y'all. I didn't have crap to put it in. So I grabbed one of my um, baskets that I actually bought. I have another one. It's like way over there, pink one. But I bought these to actually plant in them because I've been watching a lot of um, videos 
and Googling and reading about aeration in the garden and having the, you know, holes in the side of your containers and stuff, if you're growing in containers, and that helps the roots to spread out. Um, so I put it in here. I hope that it does okay because y'all, I had put it in some water and I was, it was only supposed to be in the water for two hours. I forgot about the thing and went to bed and woke up the next day and said, oh, hell. And so I had to come out here and, and pray over her and hopefully she will do okay. So she's not dead yet. Um, over here, I did onions and this is the, the ones that I did. So, and I also took some onions that I had out of the house that were about, I was about to throw away because I just used the tops. I didn't want the bottoms, so I put the bottoms in here and then they started, you know, growing or whatever. Over here, this is just a stick stuck in a pot. This was my pecan tree, my pecan tree. I don't know why I say pecan, cause I ain't, I'm from South. My, this was my pecan tree. And y'all, I don't know what happened. So I'm hoping that she will, you know, this summer start doing something. Otherwise I won't have to buy another one. And then these came from out of the house. They were this little, now they're growing up. Over here, we have spinach that I planted on the 7th. And this is what they look like. They look like crap, but they're there. Then I did some heirloom kale on the 16th and some more spinach on the 16th. Bell peppers on the 4th, green bell peppers on the 4th. And I'm starting to see something look like right there. And then this was the onion that I had in the house. And now it's trying to reproduce. Now, that was on the fourth. This was a celery stalk that I had used. And I just took the end part that was left and put it in here. I did that on the fourth and I came back out and she started growing y'all. So I'm growing celery for the first time in my life. Okay, these, I don't think these are going to do anything. These were from last year and I just fertilized them last week, but I'm hoping that they'll come back. These were my jalapeno <laughs> trees or whatever you want to call them. They did really well for me. They gave me a great harvest. And so that is And then this little thing here was all the way down to here. And this was a um, green onion also. And I just stuck it in here just to play around, just to see what it would do. I like to do that because I'm new to gardening. So I like to see what things will do. And this is what it did. And why am I playing with the tip like that? But anyway, so y'all, that is it for the garden update. Y'all have a blessed day. You, me, you, me, you, me, you.